Hey friends, Shane from HotterWrench.com and I got my new shock spring in <clears throat> to match all the weight I lost. So I got to swap those and it takes a special tool and I've seen this done at the racetrack a lot and we used to have one at the college that was pretty slick but I was looking for uh, an economical tool that I could use here in the shop because it's not often, uh, when I say not often, it's non-existent that I really service uh, shocks but who knows I might need something today maybe I want to put you know some better shocks on that or maybe I want to put a different spring on something I don't know so I thought what is an economical way I can go about this so I'm gonna have a link below to this toy ball on Amazon but I'm gonna be honest with you this video is going to show me using it for the first time uh, most of the videos I saw using this tool where you've got this little uh, compressor if you will one for each side couple little protectors which are hilarious it's just a piece of hose cut in half uh were used on these really small diameter shocks like you find on a lot of dual shock motorcycles it was more something like this so nice little wide gap smaller coil but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in the soft jaws and go ahead and film it right now and see if i can get this apart myself and swap my springs. So if that caught your attention, make sure and join the channel, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and let's get to it. Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're gonna be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. So I, I wanted to, since I haven't used this before, I thought I'd just grab a bunch of different extensions and sizes and see where I needed to get above the shock. And then I went ahead and grabbed my uh, wobbles as well, just if I needed a little clearance to kick off to the side. I just. Don't know, I got a little T-handle and then a ratchet, but this is this is pretty cool in that this is a 17 millimeter or you could just simply put your extensions in there and get going as well, uh, which is what we're gonna, what we're gonna tackle here. But uh, let me get the shock in the vise and let's uh, go for it. in there pretty good so like I said it's got these little protectors you can put around the spring like so and I think that's going to create a clearance problem for me so I'm going to skip that so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you, but obviously you can see I'm just uh, snugging that down until that hook uh, is, is totally supported around the spring. The first place that I chose to attempt to make this work and compress that spring, it, it ultimately was going to hit the valve body. So you'll see in a second here, I'm going to switch to a different position. And, and just so you know, when I go to do the uh, installation, I change the camera angle and it gets back to a, a facing view like this. The best advice I can give you is just to, you know, take your time and, and keep looking to make sure that those hooks aren't uh, hitting anything on the shock. There's a real tight clearance on the body to this tool. I mean, like, like this barely worked, um, but it did. And then you'll see next is, is once I really started to get some pressure on there, it, it just probably mostly because I hadn't used it before, was just kind of unnerving. And uh, I know a lot of times when they take shocks apart, like the tool I had when I taught the college, it was literally in a cage. So if something sprung apart, you know, you're protected. So you're going to see next, I'm going to try and take a, a tie down and, and wrap around it. And I, I honestly give up and, and I think, well, it really wasn't out of control. I was just being super worried at this point, but I really don't think it's a terrible idea. I think I'm going to look into a way that I could actually use like a, a ratching tie down and maybe, you know, put an X across it or, or do something just to be safe. I, I don't think it's a terrible idea. I actually saw another YouTube video where they used a tie down, a ratching one and put it through uh, the, the spring and then and compressed it that way that was going to be my plan b so there's a way to work safe i mean you get what you pay for in this tool and uh works but there's risk all right i'm gonna honk along here and, and what i'm doing i'm compressing that spring down and underneath that collar there's a little snap ring i'll zoom in here in a second you could see uh what i'm doing is i'm getting clearance to that and i'm just gonna take a pick or a screwdriver get that snap ring off and then 
the collar can come up and off and change your spring as you'll see I cannot stress enough I mean this is dangerous there's a lot of pressure going on there's a lot to slip you really need to be mindful sticking your fingers around there around that spring you can see I'm really being careful and I keep checking myself uh, it's it's just okay. plain dangerous keep that, that in mind. Off. So since I know that compressed length spring uh, allows clearance for the clip, I'm going to go ahead and measure that now so that I can reinstall the new spring at that same compressed length and that should allow me to put the clip in really easy. So simple enough, I'll get those uh, clamps off the old one, get them installed on the new one to that new uh, that same length and uh, let's put this thing together. Quick note here, I think there's a lot of value in comparing uh, you know, old parts versus new or the one you're taking off and the upgrade that you're putting on. So what I'm looking for here is to see, you know, did that spring compressor distort the spring or do anything weird or goofy with it? And are these the same length? So that that five inch measurement that I that I noted uh, is the same. So take your time and check things out. Alright, I want you to notice here that as I install that clip, I'm making sure and verifying that it's snapped into its groove. You'll see me check it a couple different times. I'm actually just compressing that spring down and then lifting it back up and making sure that it's fully seated. You'll see me actually like check myself a couple times. That's really important because that's what's retaining or holding that all together. That thing comes off, uh, that spring is shooting off the shock. It's not going to be a good day, so double check your work.
All right, nothing to it. New shock. Uh, we're going to set this up uh, with a change in the shock. And my new gear is actually lighter. We're going to have to reset the sag and go back and, and change back to our baseline settings um, on the compression uh, compression adjuster, I believe is what we changed. But how cool is that? That was pretty slick. It just felt uh, awkward compared to like a professional one. Maybe it's just because I know better, but it's it's almost like in a cage. And real quick, one of my only disappointments is, is that mine did not come with those protective covers. I kind of forgot about that till I went to find the Amazon link. Mine just had some pieces of hose cut off and thrown in the box. Um, at 28 bucks, I'm, I'm really not going to bitch, but it, it's not what's advertised. So just a warning. I was going to try and take a tie down strap around it and then that just wasn't going to work, you know, just to be safe. But I, the feel of this never felt like it was going to slip off or go out of control. So I definitely give a thumbs up. It obviously got the job done. It was just one of those things where it was just a little uneasy, I think, from, from not having done it more than anything. So, all right, my friends, that's it. I'll keep this video kind of short and sweet, but those are pretty stinking, uh, cool uh, way that you could change your shock spring uh, yourself uh, and determine what you want to do. It's kind of, it's really cool if you want to be able to just do it right at the track and you don't have a spring, uh, you know, the, the real spring machine, if you will. But I'd probably suggest if there's someone you're doing business with the track, run over and see if they'll swap it for you. But uh, I don't know, this is cool. I can figure it out. It's extremely unlikely. I'll go back to this one. Uh, I don't want to, lost a lot of weight, worked hard for it. Don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, give this spring a shot and see if the bike will dial in. All right, I, a special big shout out to uh, Dan Cow Racing for getting us hooked up uh, on not only uh, killer products, but also the training uh, that uh, has come with it. So, all right, my friends, as always, I'm gonna get back at it. So make it a great day and keep wrenching. Mm -hmm.